So when I was sitting here thinking about the title of the video, I always try to come up with a title that best represents the topics that I want to discuss about. That's one of the things I always try to do as a content creator is always try and talk about something that I feel is compelling and interesting and then make a title later rather than making a title and building a video around the title. I know that sounds weird, but you'd understand if well, some of you might understand, especially content creators, but I was sitting there for a while thinking about it and a title kind of popped in my head that really represented how I feel about slime and that is, it is hard to analyze slime. And what I mean by that is slime is fun. I enjoy slime. I love memeing about it more than anything and riling up the fan base, especially the light novel community because the light novel community, I think, get a little bit too serious about the series because slime is always meant to be fun, silly, and have its serious moments when it needs to, but most of the time it is fun and silly, and especially this core. This core is going to be fun and silly, but when I talk about slime, I find it hard to analyze the series because there is so much politics to talk about. It feels like a lot of the times all I'm doing is giving a full on synapsis of a day by day, minute by minute of all the discussions. It's, it's like I'm just sitting there with a typewriter next to Rimuru just going, yes, 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 this is what they're talking about and kind of just regurgitating it. And that's one of the things that I don't want to do as a content creator is just do whether it's like episode reviews or analysis and just end up spending 24 minutes in a re in a video just breaking down everything they talk about which let's be honest here a lot of channels do nowadays they just basically tell you what happened in an episode rather than really giving their own thoughts and opinions minus maybe some of them do it but maybe like one minute out of like a 10 minute video is their own opinion so with slime, it, it, it can be a little bit challenging because there's a lot of info dumping when it comes to what rumoru has got planned, what all these negotiations are, and I still find it funny that a lot of slime fans are getting very defensive about all the negotiations and the table talking and all that kind of stuff, which again, I don't have a problem with. I'm just the type of person that's very self-aware of, hey, this is what they're doing. Some anime-only fans may find this a little bit tedious if you do it for six episodes straight, which, surprise, surprise, they pretty much did. But one of the things that I did want to warn Slime fans in this episode, which I've done before, is that these next bunch of episodes are going to have a lot of talking. This entire core is going to have a lot of talking in it and a lot of negotiations, a lot of building because of what rumoru has got cooking. He's got some big plans going on and he wants to do some pretty ambitious things. And if you watch the opening song, the new one, it hints heavily at what they're planning. Look at the maps, look at the kind of the layout of the things going on. It's kind of hard to not say it, but at the same time, it's kind of really obvious. Dungeons, Veldera, creatures being summoned. I think most anime only fans will probably put together what's been cooked, but some may not. And that's the thing about Slime, is it's one of those where it goes through a lot of table talking and then you kind of get that satisfying end to it all. And I saw one comment of someone actually pointing something out about the series and I actually thought it was really a good, good actual advice from a Slime fan is that if you're not as big of a fan of the table talking and the politics stuff but you still generally really enjoy the series, stop watching Slime until the end of the season. Like just wait it out until all 24 episodes are out and then just binge watch it. That honestly is a really good piece of advice because if you're not as much into waiting episode by episode when you sit there and you go, oh, it was just more talking. Oh, well, now I've got to wait another week. I would say just wait until the entire season is over and then and then watch it all in one go. And I think that would be a more a better feeling for some fans. I know binge watching is kind of one of those that gets frowned upon because, oh, episodic waiting is really fun and exciting. Not always. I find some series actually kind of hurt itself from that, especially when you're kind of waiting from cliffhanger to cliffhanger to cliffhanger, and you're just waiting for that, that big moment to happen or those big sort of satisfying completion moments and especially in this i think a lot of fans are going to get really annoyed waiting week by week by week for things to kind of start moving and that's why i think it would feel better if 
some just waited until the end of the season and then just binge watch it because at least then they can get through all of the table talking and get to the end of it at their own pace whether it's all in one go or you know two or three days or whatnot or you know 12 or 13 episodes in one week however the pace goes at least then you can maybe speed it up a little bit and not be waiting week by week by week by week which could be much more agonizing again just to be very clear i don't hate slime i like slime but i think again slime light novel fans need to be understanding and self-aware that not everyone wants to sit there every week listening to just yapping as the kids like to say some people want a little bit more stuff going on and by doing that, I think it might give a little bit more of a better experience for some of those. And I know many people that I know in real life and online that do do that. They wait until the end of the series is finished and then they just binge watch it. Because it's a lot more easier for them to consume than waiting week by week, which ends up leading to some fans just getting a little bit tired of it and then dropping it halfway because they kind of just forget about it because it's a week by week. They just wait until it's finished. They go through their list and they go, oh, I'm going to watch this and then binge watch it. Everyone enjoys things in different ways, but I'm recommending that for those that might don't want to wait through each week by week for the kind of, as the kids say again, yapping. But overall, I really enjoy these episodes. I think it's fun just kind of seeing all of Rimuru's plans kind of being laid out there, some of the silliness, and you know, those thinking, oh my god, Velda is you know, being part of these plans. He, he wants to do his own cooking and that. I think it's adorable. The opening song is really good. I actually like this opening song more than the first one, mainly because the animations of it actually looks really nice and actually really adds that kind of bubbly, upstanding feeling. I didn't really like the first one because the first one just kind of felt, I'm going to be honest, felt very bland. It's not the song that I so much had a problem with. It was the actual rest, like the animations, the showing and everything. It just felt kind of meh. Like, I get it was trying to build up this big fight and confrontation, but also <laughs> the way it did it also, probably with, like, those six episodes of talking probably didn't really help either, but I know I'm going to I'm gonna upset some kids, but it is what it is. I'm still enjoying it, but as I mentioned, it's one of those that I just kind of wanted to talk about because I think it is a valid point. I saw some comments about it, and I thought, you know what, that is a very good point. I might talk about that in a video and get the feedback on what other people think, if that's a good idea for some fans, and maybe not so much. I mean, again, you may not want to do that, but others may sit there and say, oh, that's a good idea. And I think that's what some will end up doing. At the end of the day, the anime is not going anywhere. You can find it on Crunchyroll afterwards, and by the time probably that's done, they probably will have a dub, which actually, I, I know, sub versus dub, there's a big argument about it, but I actually think the dub for slime is actually pretty good and i think actually the dub might actually make the series even better because instead of just reading it you could do something like whether you got it on the tv or you've got it on a second screen like i do when i'm doing work or editing or playing games or whatnot mostly i'm just editing and stuff i can watch some anime on the side screen and i could do the same like i could just watch like a, a dub series while i'm doing some work and then instead of having to constantly read I can just listen to it because again those meeting episodes aren't exactly showing any spectacle visual big things some some parts but most of it isn't really anything big grand spanking being showed so i do also think that could be a good alternative as well is just waiting for the full dub to come out and then just watch it dub that way it's just easier to consume again i understand some people don't like dubs they kind of spit out and they're like Ugh, dubs are horrible not all dubs are bad Let's be honest here, they're not all bad, there's just the odd ones that are really bad, that really stand out, that really ruffle up some feathers. I know, it's a hot take, that not all dubs are bad, but I'm just being grounded here, I look at the bigger picture when it comes to these things, and I think that's maybe why I'm one of the hated anti-tubers on the platform, because I try to look at things in a more grounded, realistic, logical component, and look at the bigger picture rather than tunnel visioning on only specific things but again i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what did you think of these episodes what do you think of rimaru's cooking when it comes to the big arena and all that oh i love it i love the way he's kind of always kind of coming up with these big plans and these big theories but it also does remind me each of these episodes how the experience from anime to light novel is very different because of how you can imagine things and that's something i've mentioned a couple of times and i think it's just worth re retouching on that 
it's a very different experience and it was kind of a revelation to me when I thought about it when I was reading the, one of the volumes again and I was like, oh wow, this is a very different experience. So again, love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below, but if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.